Here's page three of our unit one, part three, study guide. The directions here say determine whether each number is a solution of the given equation. Show your substitution and your work, then circle yes or no. So if you just circle yes or no over here, you will not get credit for these. You have to show your work. So what we're going to do on these problems is we're going to take out the variable, substitute in or replace it with the number, and see if it makes a true statement. So this isn't like the expressions where we had to figure them out. Um, in that sense, we're going to figure out this side and see if it's equal to the other side of the equal sign. So we take out our j and put in 55, substitute in 55, and we add 55 and 20, which is 75, and sure enough, 75 is equal to 75, so that's a yes. Over here, we're going to take out our k and replace it with 100. 100 divided by 25, does that equal 4? Well, 100 divided by 25 does equal 4, so that's a yes. 6 times m equal to 28. If we replace the m with a 4, does that equal 28? Well, 6 times 4 is 24. That does not equal 28, so that's a no. 47 minus n equal 28. If we replace the n with 21, does 47 minus 21 equal 28? 7 minus 1 is 6, and 4 minus 2 is 2. So this is 26, does not equal 28, so that's a no. 8 times p equals 87, if p is 7, is 8 times 7 equal to 87? No, 8 times 7 is 56, not 87. Remember, this means times here, and so that's a no. All right, we're moving into our properties now. And for this first section, we're going to fill in the blanks with the correct word from the word bank here. So which property is it where the grouping can change, where the association can change? Remember, that's the associative property. So associative property is where we can change our grouping. The property that takes the outside number and multiplies it by the inside number, that's going to be that distributive property. The property when a number is multiplied by 1 or added to 0 and it doesn't change its value, in other words, you get what you started with, that's going to be the identity property. We have the same identity after the problem's over as we did before we started it. The property where order can change, that's the commutative property. Think about commuting back and forth to school. The order changes. Commutative means we um, move locations. The property where adding a number and its opposite is zero. If we're going to add a number and its opposite, that's the inverse property. All right, that's page three. Tune into the next video for the last page of the study guide.